good morning here we are at nine o'clock on a very bright and sunny monday morning here in the uk excuse me i'm just sorting my um microphone out i had uh, all ready to go live i was all organized and realized i hadn't got my mic um so yes welcome on this beautiful sunny Monday morning here in the UK. My name is Helen Jennings. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator based here in the UK um, and we come in live at the moment. We're coming in live at nine o'clock on a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and on a Tuesday I will aim to have a video um, uh, get scheduled to go up onto YouTube um, so that there'd still be something for you to come in and watch at nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning. Right, so this week, um, our product of the week this week is going to be products of the week. We're going to spread things out a bit um, because um, it is the last full week of celebration. We've got a few days next week, but this is the last full week of celebration. So if you want to take advantage of any of the celebration offers you need to be getting thinking about that and and moving forward on that this week um, because by the middle of next week it will all have gone away so I thought what we would do this week is we would concentrate on some of those second release celebration offer um offers because we haven't really played with those good morning Beryl how lovely to have you join us um so yeah, so I thought that we would concentrate on those this week. So the second um, celebration offers were things like the beautiful foils, these lovely mugs, this great set, the well-dressed set with the ties and things, the vellums, and this lovely tags in bloom set just here that goes with um, the new tag punch from the spring summer catalogue. Um, the new mini catalogue. So today we're going to start the week by having a bit of a play with these flowering foils. Now this was the, the version of the brochure that I printed off before I had my hands on the real thing. So it's actually A4 so it's bigger than the real thing um, but that makes it quite handy to look at um, for us on the camera. So there's the flowering foils specialty designer series paper. Obviously I have it on the table in front of me um, and some of the um, things they've created. Now we're not necessarily going to um, case the catalogue this morning because we're going to be doing a different um, product every day. We're just going to get straight on and, and play with it and we might take some inspiration from the samples in the catalogue but we're going to go our own way. So let's just show you quickly these papers. And I'm very aware, morning Valerie, that um, being on the camera, let me just see somebody. It has to ping, doesn't it, to remind me that I've not switched it on silent. Normally it pings to tell me that I'm going live. Um, so I'm aware that on camera it might not show up brilliantly because the lights shining on the foil does tend to make the camera go a little bit funky sometimes. But I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see that they are truly beautiful. So it's rose foil and silver that's on these papers and you get three of each. So you've got this one with these little daisies and you can, the rose gold ones show up really well, but if you look closer, you can also see there's silver ones in there as well. So there's rose gold and silver flowers in there. You've got these lovely big blooms just here that again, have got rose gold and then the silver leaves and silver centers to the flowers. You've got this really interesting sort of checked one just here which makes lovely backgrounds. And then you've got this white and silver one here. So it's these big flowers, these sort of big geometrical type flowers um, on a white background. So obviously being on a white background means that you can sponge them, spritz them, ink them, color them in, do all sorts of things. So that gives you lots of potential for fun things to do with these sheets of paper. So what I thought we would do this morning um, is a bit of a one sheet wonder. Um, so 
normally with a one sheet wonder you would take a whole sheet of paper so either a sheet of paper that comes out of a designer series pack like this whole one or you can do this with a six by six sheet or you can create your own and quite often at my one sheet wonder classes what we do is we start off with a blank square 12 inch square of card and we actually stamp on it and we actually create our own background papers and then we make up cards from there but for this we're going to use a bit of one of these 12 by 12 sheets so I'm going to take a piece of six inch square of this sort of daisy sort of light print with the rose gold and the silver on it so hopefully you can see that so it's all on a white background and you've got these rose gold and daisy flowers and they are just beautiful and we're going to take that piece of card this piece of paper and we're going to divide it up and see and make a few cards with it see where it takes us see what we can create from this six by six inch piece of paper so what i'm going to do to start with, i'm going to take my trimmer and to start with i know that i've got some I've, I've sort of been thinking a little bit about what i'm going to do it's not totally random um but i haven't actually put anything together it's only been a thought process so what i'm going to do i know that this is six by six it's an imperial measurement piece of paper but um, i'm actually not too worried about what the size of my strip is that's left but i am worried about not worried but I, I am more particular about what size I want this strip to be so I'm going to cut this strip so that it is nine and a half centimeters so there we are I've now got a strip like that, that I'm going to use for one card there might be a bit more to come off of that and then this nine and a half strip that I've got here I'm going to swing it round and I'm going to chop another nine and a half so now I have got three pieces of paper and this is what is it about 15 point 15.7 15.8 something like that yeah i think it's fit about 15.7 centimeters 5.7 centimeters that way by nine and a half that way and then this one also should be about 5.7 centimetres, 5.8 centimetres. So we've got three pieces of paper now. I'm going to move my trimmer to one side for a minute, but we will no doubt want it again soon. So what I have got here is I have got a standard card base. So I've just created a standard card base and I'm going to match that up with that one. And then I have created, a bit like we did the other day, two little square cards. So these are, um, I've cut a piece of A4. This is a, obviously a very different colour, but I've cut a piece of A4 so it measures 19.8 centimetres that way. And then if you swing your card round and chop it up at 9.8 and score it down the middle at 9.8, you get a 9.8 centimetre square card and you can get three of those out of a sheet of A4 card um, and they fit in a four inch envelope which should very easily come by four inch square envelope um, so they're a nice size card so I've got two of those so we're going to be creating two square cards and one long one so that's that's the plan that's where we're going. I could have actually, I think, trimmed that down a little bit more, but never mind. That's that's by the by. We we uh, we don't mind if we have little slithers left over. We might get little slithers of paper left over that we don't know what we can do with. Um, but let's start with what shall we start with? Let's start with this. What are these little square ones? start with this one so we have our 9.9 .9 centimeter square base and we have our bit of paper and I've got some petal pink here because that petal pink sits quite nicely with that paper because it sort of picks out the colors in that foil and is really quite pretty so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of card I'm going to cut I'm actually going to cut this, I think, to 9.5 centimetres. 
so I could have gone down to nine centimeters with that strip but it doesn't really matter so I'm then just going to trim this so it is nine centimeters square so I'm just going to take that little slither off each side I won't throw them away yet, I'll put them to one side. You never know when you might want a little slither of something. So we have our petal pink background, our foiled paper, our white card base so far. That's looking quite pretty. Now I am going to want to thinking I would use this new punch and I must label this punch with its name. Let's look it up. It is called the Label Me Lovely Punch. I must get my um, label maker out and label it. So the Label Me Lovely Punch is in the new mini catalogue. Um, it's a lovely shaped punch. You can obviously have it that way with your flat sides either side or you can swing it round and have your flats top and bottom um, and I've seen people do it and we might have a little look to see whether that's the way we're going to do it we'll have a look um, but I'm going to at the middle of this piece of petal pink card I'm going to punch one of these now the reason I've done that is because I want one of these punched out of petal pink that hole just there is going to be hidden behind that piece of paper just there so I see no point in wasting another piece of card when we have card stock behind there ready to go right let me grab my snail and let's stick that at this moment I'm not particularly worried about which side I want to be up or down I don't think it makes very much difference but it's a square piece of card so we could move it round anyway so let's have a look is there any particular way we want it to go? Um, quite like it's that way, I think. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the petal pink and champagne um, ribbon. I'm just going to put some of that across the centre there. Let's grab my snips. and a bit of tear and tape one So we're going to wrap this across the middle here and wrap it round either side and we want it to be nice and tight without um, it sort of bending the card so then we can get a bit more snail a bit in the middle there and we can stick that to our card base that's looking really quite sweet isn't it and we have our label there but that's going to be like our frame on our label so I do need a little piece of whisper white card and I have grabbed, so this is this is something that's going to come up later in the week. This is the Tags in Bloom set. But this Tags in Bloom set, as you can see, has been designed to go with this label punch. So the greetings in here have been designed to fit beautifully in there. So we've got sending hugs. Happiness looks gorgeous on you. And we've got wishing you the best. I think we'll go with wishing you the best. 
we're thinking at the moment about sending cards out to uh, to people to cheer them up so that's quite a nice sentiment isn't it and the other thing that's in here is like this stitched line so we will make use of that as well so let's grab a block Now this is quite, it's an outline stamp, um, but it is very easy to stretch it out of shape if you're not careful. So with these sorts of stamps, the best thing to do is, so I've laid that down so that the stamping part of it is on my mat. Let it rest for just a second before picking it up. And that way you're less likely to have um, a distortion of the outline. Quick slurp of tea. And mm -mm -mm, I'm definitely going to go petal pink for the outline. Let me bring in my foam mat because we are using photopolymer stamps. The other thing I'm going to need to do is if my heater is on, which it is only on minimum, I'm going to turn it down. Sun shining and it's feeling a little bit warm or at least I am that doesn't mean that it is warm right let's ink up neither does it mean that I've got a fever ladies so panic not right let us stamp beautiful stitched outline I'm thinking that the greeting inside this is where we're in the hoof aren't we I'm tempted to do it in silver embossing I think so let's pick that up on that paper let me just grab my Versa mark. And let's also get my um, embossing buddy. Right, let's give that a bit of a smoosh with our embossing buddy before. Stamping it with that VersaMark ink. And let me reach over and grab, let's have a look, uh, silver. That's the one we want, silver embossing powder. And we will sprinkle that on there. Okay, and we will grab our heat gun and just pop the silver embossing powder back out of the way so I don't knock it over. Fire up the heat gun and give that a second to heat up. Have a slurp of tea. Right. Oh, let's whoosh. There we are, silver embossed greeting. So now we need to line that up in our punch. I saw somebody yesterday swing that round so that you got the little 
top and bottom with the straight bit on the top and bottom but actually I don't think that's quite enough of a border for what I want so I am going to go back to the tried and tested method of um, cutting that in half and gives me a little bit more of a border to go on there want some dimensionals um, So quite a few dimensionals that just need the edge bits using up so let's let's get our snips out and let's snip up some edge bits and use those always want to use your edge bits that's looking a bit wonky on the back there it's possibly the way I cut it because it doesn't look particularly wonky on the front There we go. So yes, never throw your edge bits away. You need to use every last scrap. And those edge bits are so useful sometimes because you can cut them to the, the shape you want. You can get really thin slithers out of them if you want to. So wishing you the best. It's rather pretty, isn't it? Now, I was wondering if I needed um, some extra little flowers on there. I'm not going to stamp this. I'm just going to punch it to see whether it would... I think they might be quite pretty, mightn't they? What I might actually do is I've got this little piece of card I might take the little flower so the little flower from the thoughtful blooms I'll take oh those have scattered I'll take this one that's got like this sort of striped effect I think let's get an itsy bitsy block otherwise known as an A block and I think we'll use our Versamark and Silver again. So let's give this a bit of a smoosh before we start stamping. I'm going to do five. I don't think I'm going to need five, but as I'm here, I'll do five and then I've got plenty should I need to call on them elsewhere. So let's bring in our silver embossing again. The metallic embossing powders, so the silver and gold particularly, they're so brilliant, aren't they? Because they look so dull and boring. That just looks grey, doesn't it? Until you heat it and suddenly they pop to life. a little bit let's... okay let me put that lid on pop it out the way let's move this out the way so we don't warp that with the heat And pop that heat gun's really nice and hot now because it's just just turning that powder. let's take our little punch now so this is the thoughtful blooms celebration set and the little punch that goes with it and we will 
punch outs of our little silver embossed flowers. They're really sweet, aren't they? Last but not least, pop. Okay, those are very pretty. So I think I'm going to put those to one side. Let me just put the lid on my petal pink ink pad for a minute. I'm thinking we're going to come in this side with some more of this ribbon and do a something, either a, a knot or a bow. Let's go with a bow. So what I could have done is I could have done a bow separately and um, glue dotted that on and if it all goes horribly wrong that's what we will go back and do oh that's looking quite pretty so let's just trim that side off to match. We've got a little bow there and then we will just put, we'll get some little mini dimensionals and we'll just put some of these flowers on this side to snuggle up against that frame. That's very pretty, isn't it? And I think we'll just grab um, we'll just grab some little shinies. Shiny, shiny. To go in the middle of those flowers. because we can. Right, that's very pretty. So there's our number one card out of our six by six square of paper. We've got a couple of flowers spare there that we can come back to in a minute. Let's pop these bits away for now so that we can we know where to find them have a bit of a clear down of the decks and then we're ready to start with our next card so we're going to go again with um oh bear with me one second i've put my simply chamois to soak ready so it's nice and wet and forgot to bring it with me i'll go and grab that from the kitchen while you admire this pretty card Simply chamois on standby. Let's clean these stamps up. See, I was nearly organised. I thought, oh, that's dried out. I need to wet that. Mustn't forget to take it with me. Wet it, forgot to take it with me. Right, let's pop that back in there now. And we'll pop these ones back in here. I love the way that you can get that stitched outline with this stamp set on those punches. Very useful. Pop that one in there. Okay. Let's 
move onwards I don't know about anybody else but I seem to have spent all weekend eating things I shouldn't be eating I need to get a handle on that a few less biscuits and things I think okay I'm going to come in now with this little piece of paper now shall we have it going that way that way shall we have it as a a border down the bottom with something going on on the top or a border going down the side quite tempted I think we'll go a border down the bottom now for this one I grabbed some coastal um, Clipso coral because so I thought that's another one that's going to go quite nicely with that so let's grab our trimmer again and let's cut ourselves a square of um, Clipso coral that's nine and a half centimetres going to sit on there like that then we'll have that we'll possibly come in across there like that now I actually picked out I haven't got any Calypso coral ribbon so I was thinking did I not grab it in the end thinking I would take oh actually actually let's take this white and silver ribbon I'm going to cut a piece off and I'm going to take my dark calypso um, stamping blend. Let me just find a bit of paper to go under here, otherwise, I shall have a very stained um, glass mat because even the glass mat gets initially stained when you do this. So, you do really want a bit of scrap paper underneath it. And I'm just going to colour this ribbon so then we will have some calypso coral and silver ribbon which is just the ticket Let's, there we go And that sort of come through both sides there how beautiful is that calypso coral and silver ribbon just the job let's move my bit of scrap paper out the way have that coming across the middle here and we can have some sort of I'm going to leave a bit of a border down the bottom and that ribbon coming across there and we'll have a greeting at the top there um, and what greeting shall we have on this one um, Just oh. actually there's a nice little in this sending you thoughts which again was another um celebration one of the first celebrations says it's lovely if loving thoughts could heal and then you've got the you'd be better already 
that's quite nice. So we might do there's the you'd be better already. And there's the if loving thoughts could heal. And I think We'll go again. We'll do that in silver embossed on the top there. We'll have this coming round here like that. So let's move these out the way while we emboss this to start with. So embossing buddy, grab the silver embossing powder and the Versamark and a block would be helpful, wouldn't it? that up if loving thoughts could heal uh, we're going to take our paper and our snail that on there just so that there's a little slither of the Calypso coral peeping out the bottom. And then we'll again take some tear and tape. Put some of that either side just here. You can see on this card where the sun's caught it and bleached it slightly. <laughs> but that's okay because that's going on the back. We can't see that bit. And we'll take those backings off on that one because that one's not stuck down properly. Gotcha. Quite often find if one end doesn't go, go from the other end. Ooh. So let's lie that across there and wrap that round that way. Bring that across there, wrap it across that way and then we'll cut that off. And then we'll take some snail and we'll attach that to our Hard front. Like that. Looking quite pretty. Now what I might do actually is I'm going to take the light Clipso coral. And where's there's the silver flowers in here? Just going to colour them in. I'm going to leave the um, rose gold ones. At least that's my thoughts at the moment. This is um, as we go along. Of course, the one thing I did forget was that the light clip so coral is my blend that is um, starting to run out. But I think we've got enough oomph in it to keep us going. So we can just 
colour over these so I could have coloured the entire background but actually and I could have used watercolour I could have used watercolour pencils I could have um, used a sponge dauber and daubed some colour on Lots and lots of ways of colouring these sheets. I do love doing one sheet wonders. It sort of is, um, I love designing them because you've got the first, I mean with this you've got your paper already but when we do a whole one sheet wonder where you first start off designing the sheet that's always good fun and then you decide how you're going to cut it up and there's lots of um, one sheet wonder templates on places like Pinterest you don't necessarily have to come up with that on the top of your head I'm sure if you go onto Pinterest and look up um, one sheet wonders for 12 by 12s and for uh, a six inch a six inch I think you'll find some sort of a4 letter size ones as well so that's quite pretty that's just added that little bit of calypso coral into those small flowers and then I think we'll simply pop that through there and this time we'll just tie a knot And trim that off a little bit. Loving thoughts could heal. Obviously, we then needs to go inside. Let's get my um. Is that going to go on my G block? Yes, you'd be better already. So let's grab our Clipso Coral ink. Hi, Glenda. Hope you're doing okay. So obviously we might need a few Get Well cards. So if loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. That's really quite sweet, isn't it? So there's number two card from our little six by six square of paper. And we've got another one to go. So this one I did start to cut a few pieces and I thought we'd go, oh, sorry, wobbling you. Let's get rid of some of this rubbish. Oh, where did that go? Um, I thought we would go quite different on this one and we would have some um, early espresso in with this one so again we're sort of keeping in with those sort of we've got pinks, calypso coral, sort of browns still sort of picking out that idea of that rose gold in there um, but we will start with a mat of the brown card that is going to be 14.4 by 10 oh just throwing the simply chamois on the floor it's very um violent of me So that's going to go there like that and then we've got a white mat just here we're going to have our strip coming down here and I think I'm going to want a brown um, brown mat to come either side of that strip so let's have a look how wide is that strip 
which is I think it was about 5.8 we decided wasn't it so and if I'm going to add five millimeters to that that makes it 6.3 That's fabulous. Now, before I trim that paper down, I want to decide whether we're staying safe. I've not been very far, Glenda, to be fair. I did go out to pick a little bit of shopping up yesterday but that's about the only time I've left the house I've been out twice last week to just to get pick up bits of shopping that's the only place I've been I'm going to trim this Earl Espresso and this paper to 13.9 centimeters obviously if you are in the States watching this um, or Canada and you use letter size You'd obviously need to work this out to fit your own card sizes, but the chances are your paper might have come up different anyway. Right, there we go. So we're going to have that coming on like that. I quite like that. And then I'm thinking, I actually, before we came on, I took another of the sheets of paper from that flowering foils and I've cut out one of these blooms but I need something to separate that from the paper underneath it so I have grabbed two of the stitch labels so I'm going to cut one in early espresso um, and one in white now the early espresso one just like we did the punch earlier I can cut it out of that so as not to to waste any card. I've got my big shot standing next to me here, so I'll just run that through. I'm sure you don't necessarily need me to see me run that through the big shot. Not anything, any new technique or anything very exciting. For Mother's Day, my children, they know me so well. Well, actually, they I might have put in a little bit of request. I might have hinted slightly. Um, at something that I wanted. I thought, I know they're going to be looking and asking the question. So let me just throw out a general hint. <clears throat> Actually, my husband's direction. So I let Dad know that what I'd really like is one of those trolleys that Hobbycraft are doing at the moment um, with the tops on, so a bit like the IKEA ones. You've got the top on it that you can stand things on and the that would be really good. And whoa, and surprise, surprise, that's what I got. So that was really lovely. So I spent yesterday sorting out and um, tidying and putting things in my craft trolley. So that means I've got my craft trolley standing right next to me with all of my glues and bits of equipment and things in it and the big shot sitting on the top. So hopefully I don't lose things quite so much. Right, so there, I'm thinking... Oh, I've, what have I done with my early espresso background? I knew that wasn't quite right. There's something was missing there. It's that. That's it. So that will just give a bit of a backdrop to be able to put that flower on the top there. Um, but I'm thinking that that top set of flowers could really do with a bit of colour but I think I'm going to go we're going to try watercolours I think let's grab our watercolour pencils now these aren't necessarily in the right boxes not that that matters particularly I think we will go with, um, let's get the early espresso one out and um, 
we'll have the Calypso Coral. We'll see how we go from there, I think. Now I need to bring myself a glass of water as well as a cup of tea, so I think that wasn't a bad move actually. So let's sit that to one side for now and let's bring in these flowers. Now I'm thinking these buds just here we could do in early espresso. And some down here. So these are the blobby bits. And then the flowers, I think I'm going to go, um, we'll go old olive, I think. Oh, that's looking as if it could do with a, a sharpen. Let's, um, Let's bring in my pencil sharpener. And let's cut the leaves in. With old olive. What? Two. And of course, the nice thing about these being embossed papers is your colour doesn't sit on your embossing, so you don't have to worry too much about that. It will just go over the top and These bits up here. Let me just grab a blender pen. Um, that bit of scrap paper gone. Just give it a scribble just to make sure that that's okay, and then we'll just blend that out to get rid of those sort of pencil lines. Don't want to be too mad because it is sort of you don't want to um, upset the uh, integrity of the paper by adding too much moisture to it, but that will just sort of smooth that out a little bit. Let's just scribble along the green and do the same with the early espresso. Just blend that out a bit. Okay. And then the flowers. I think I'm going to go with um, Calypso Coral. Um, might do some crushed curry in the middle. And perhaps just take some crushed curry out from these centres a little bit. And then we'll come in with some Calypso Coral and say at this stage we're not worrying too much, we are going to blend it out. Oh, there's a leaf I've missed just there. 
we'll go back in and do that in a minute so for now I'm just laying down some colour really So it does look a bit scribbly at this stage, but that's okay. It's nice to know you don't have to worry too much. Hi Doreen, hi Angie. Hope you're all doing okay. We're playing a bit with a, we've taken a piece of six by six piece of, um, of this flowering foils. And we're doing a, sort of a, not quite a one sheet wonder, we're calling it a bit of a one sheet wonder because I just cut a six by six piece out of a bigger piece and just creating cards with those bits. Obviously this isn't out of this bit, this is an additional, this is an embellishment to our one sheet wonder, but that's allowed. Well, it is now. If it wasn't allowed before, I've just changed the rules. But this paper is so lovely. Right, let's just go in with that leaf that we missed. Right, so where's that blender pen gone? Just here. Let's give that a squiggle, squiggle. Let's do this leaf first. And just blend out that colour so we lose our um, lines. Now with these ones, I'm going to come, going to drag some of that um, crushed curry out. From the center blend it out obviously as with all of these things if you were sitting at home you'd probably spend a great deal more time doing this than I am Although the nice thing is that because you can just blend these pencils out it's actually you don't have to spend a massive amount of time so any bits that you've missed automatically get filled in and of course it's not the end you can always go back and add more color in you don't have to say right okay that's it I've blended it now, I'm not allowed to put anything else on it. You can go in and put in more shading and things. What we can do is we can come in with our pencil again and add in sort of some darker bits around these edges. And actually once you've put the once you've blended underneath they do tend to sort of almost blend out automatically. It's a bit dark around those edges that just gives it a bit more dimension Yeah. 
those are quite pretty aren't they just going to come round on this center bit how pretty right okay let's start doing a bit of building on there so um oh, let's just put our whisper white mat on our early espresso mat and cover up the hole that we created oh. and then we will stick that to our card base And then we've got our piece of the flowering foils cut from our six inch square that we're going to mat onto there and I'm going to stick that down flat do I want no I don't think I want any ribbon or anything on there at the moment build these mats up so we're going to put this stitched label onto this stitch label and then I think we'll stick these flowers on flat onto there so these are only one they're only they are one-sided sheets there's nothing only about them because they're stunning but there's nothing sort of fighting with them on the back so you haven't got any awful decisions about which side you're going to choose because there is only one side to choose okay i think we'll layer that up with dimensionals i'm still not feeling as if i think I'm still feeling as if ribbon might be overkill That's a, could have done with some bigger dimensionals, couldn't I? But never mind. And then we need to think what greeting we're going to have which ones have I taken the backs off which ones are sticky oh that one's still got its back on okay let's pop that on there as well like that hi wendy thank you for joining us so if we go back to this tags in bloom in here there's a just for you which is um which is nice sort of um, a nice greeting could just be for anything couldn't it just for anything just for you just for anything now let's have a look I'm feeling that might be a bit too oh I think we might just about get away with just going to cut 
a little frame of Whisper White card because I think it is possible that we might squeeze that greeting in there. There's only one way to find out. So I'll cut that with my die cutting machine. It'd be quite nice to have another label to have it sort of echoing the label on here. So we've got our just for you just there. Let's um, pick that up with a block. Let's turn it round the right way. And let's grab an early espresso ink pad. So my early espresso is still my old style, not got round to replacing that yet. And yeah, that's going to fit in there quite nicely. Now it's a bit of a on a bit of a wonk anyway, this oh that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, How about down there? That would work, wouldn't it? That's going to stick out. So yeah, I think it's going to be down here. We could go right down here. Let me put the ink pad away so that I don't knock the card while I'm playing. Now, I think I quite like the idea of it tucking out from behind the flowers down there. So I'm just going to put some snail on this end so it sticks out down there that's rather lovely now I know these are moment quite hard to come by and um, they are one of the so they sh these champagne um rhinestones they will be back um but they are a victim of the coronavirus not because they themselves contracted it or gave it to anybody else they're not carriers or anything that drastic um, but they are made in China, so they have got caught up a little bit in the um, the shutdown that was there. Um, they are all working hard to get these things back to us. But obviously, even in our crafty world, we are going to be affected and some of our supplies might be affected at some point. So my suggestion is, if, you, uh, if you've got your eye on something and you want something to keep you going while you're uh, stuck at home, then get it ordered. Let's get it on its way to you. And particularly, let's get it on its way to you. Thank you, Beryl. While um, celebration is still on. So, of course, the whole idea. So these, these, this flowering foils, is you can't actually buy it. You can only have it for free. But you have it, you get it for free, you earn it for free by putting in an order for anything current um, of £45 or more. So if you've got something that you really fancy, you want to order, you want to get your hands on, um, if it's a £45 order, then these flowering foils could be the thing that you choose to have as your free gift. So we took one 6x6 six six square of the paper um, and from that six by six square of paper we've got a few little oddments left I've got this little bit here and I've got a couple of slithers there may be things that we could do with that um, but I'm not going to worry about that particularly too much now um, so we took one six by six square of paper and on, from that square of paper we cut a strip to make these pieces so these, this was a 9.5 centimetre strip down one side. That one we actually trimmed down again, which is what's given us these two strips to a 9 centimetre square um, on some petal pink and these little flowers that we've punched out. This is the remainder of that strip put onto a card. We've done some silver 
embossing we've colored some of those flowers in with the petal pink with the light petal pink stamping blend so those are two cards and then the strip that came from the side of that is what we've used in the background here and we've taken we've die um, fussy cut one of those beautiful flowers from that other sheet of paper to create that so one six by six um, square of paper can create three cards now obviously you can do this idea with any six by six paper so you know if you're wanting to amuse yourself just take a six by six piece of paper and think right okay let's see how many cards I can make with this and what I can do you can cut the paper you could I could have cut a square like that and I could have cut it I could have cut this corner to corner and made four cards because I could have had that corner on one card and I could have had that corner on another card so you can make it go even further and um, you might want to challenge yourself to see just how many cards you can make from a six by six square of paper but that was playing with those beautiful flowering foils let me just grab them back in for you so you can see the four designs so this is the one that we used we used six by six of this we've also used i've also cut fussy cut one of the big flowers from that sheet um, this sheet here this lovely check so as soon as i saw that i wanted to color it in and that's what i actually did for a um challenge card last week I actually coloured those squares in uh, that was let me see flirty flamingo calypso coral and so saffron um, to create that card and I've coloured in some of the flowers again there as well so that was uh, colouring in that paper because that's what it, it felt like it needed to be coloured in but it's also beautiful just as backgrounds I've seen some really nice things as backgrounds you could use it as a trellis and have flowers climbing up it and then this is the white and silver one and I've seen some really lovely things with that as well where it's been coloured so those are the four sheets that you get in that pack those are the three cards that I've created that's the challenge card that I created so there we are having a play with the flowering foils now it might be that some of the flowering foils creep back in on some of our other projects this week um, who knows um, but don't forget celebration don't forget all those lovely projects that you products that you can get um, for any order that you place so you can still place orders there's still some of the original celebrations left um, so don't forget those I'll put, I'll put a link up to my shop in this video um, for you to go and have a browse at what celebration items are available um, but they're just beautiful um, but I hope you've had fun with that with a six by six a bit of a one sheet wonder um, and tomorrow at nine o'clock I will be posting a live thing, link to a YouTube video notice how confidently I said that I've not yet videoed it um, or attempted to put it onto YouTube so but I see no reason why there won't be a video at nine o'clock for you to click on to um, and then Wednesday morning I'll be and Thursday and Friday I'll be coming back in live to do some more crafting with some other things from that second release celebration so I look forward to seeing you later in the week if you haven't already signed up to my newsletter do that because for the next so today and till Friday through till Friday I'm going to be sending out a daily newsletter with another um, project that you can have a go at so there's going to be a project a day this week um, so that's something for you to uh, look out for as well but you need to be signed up for my newsletter in order to receive that project if you are signed up for my newsletter and for any reason you haven't received it by the end of the day check your spam um, and if it still hasn't appeared let me know and I'll email it to you directly um, but have a wonderful rest of the day, everybody. As I say, the sun is still shining here. Um, get out into the garden, go and take a little bit of a walk if you're still able to, as long as um, you keep your distance from other people um, and just enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. Deep breaths, you can take a slower pace at life um, and I'll catch up with you soon.